welcome back to Anderton's TV and another down. Tales from the Pedal Cabinet. What episode is this now? I don't know. Uh, who knows? It's 30, something like that. Probably. 33? 33. <laughs> What's that in bingo calling? Um, oh, it's not. It's the uh, belt and the, the lady with the belt. On yes. Eight. Anyway. So in this video, there will be timestamps below. So if you're not interested in uh, the Wampler Ego and you want to go straight to the Mythos Herculean, you can do that using the timestamps below. Uh, if you're enjoying this channel, please mm. like and subscribe. It always helps. But let's get on with let's the show, that. Mr. P. Yeah, let's do it, man. If you're not um, interested either, just hit the, yeah, the next video What are you video playing button. today? Oh, I'm playing a beautiful uh, Shabbat lion here. Oof. Check that out. There's, there's a there's Telecaster and a Les Paul custom have got together and had some and fun, had some right? Bubbies. Is that yeah. the Justin Derrico signature no, it's model? Not. This, this is, is the, this what is, he yeah. based his on. Yeah, and there is two in store now. There is a black, and then there is this sort of off cream whitey thing. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I mean, a lot of pickups and. But I'll listen, look at the description. Well, I imagine below. we'll do a Shabbat video at some point soon. Anyway, oh, we have got face. a compressor from Wampler, a preamp from Benson. I don't even know what this is from Cogmeister. We've got a Herculean from Mythos, and we've got a Riptide from Eventide. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to go through them one by one as we do in these. So. The uh, Ego 76, Wampler are very famous for compressors, mm -hmm. aren't they? Their Ego compressor series, uh, artists like Corey Wong have used them. He's got um, his own signature of Wampler as well. Indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, the 1176 is obviously one of the most famous compressors of all time. Absolutely. Uh, many uh, pedal companies have tried to mimic that, most notably probably Origin Effects with the Cali 76. Absolutely. But now we have an Ego 76. Yeah. A bit more Ego um, with that one. We have some suggested settings from dear old Brian Wampler. Um, it's like a singer and so a boy band. So should we just get in? With, should we do his first suggested setting? Yes. Which is called Massive Sustain. Um, if we want some overdrive to sort of this into overdrive, will we just use a Herculean yeah, or something like that? You can like use that, anything. Sort of I mean, you can use anything you like. I think there's all overdrive stuff here, so. Well, let's, um, let's what does it sound like with nothing? That's a middle position. Massive sustain. Thank you for watching. That's exactly <laughs> does what it says <laughs> on the team. <laughs> That's Next. crazy. It's not too compressed. You can hear it that bloom, can't yeah. you? Where it blooms in to keep the note going. But it doesn't go whoop first. No. Like some of them do the That's initial the next attack. setting. The next is setting is tons of comp. <laughs> uh, can we, I kind of want to hear, so this for me would be your, like a, like people used to use the Boss Sustainer pedal, yeah, yeah. Like the compressor sustainer. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like a clean chord type compression. It feels like a, so, I want sustainy lead guitar. Or oh, you no? just have like, I did it there. I mean, if you want some long notes, and I think that's pretty decent, but let's have a... I don't want to use a fuzz uh, to, to try not, and accentuate this. It's not really a fuzz, Dad. It's it do not? other, but we can use that. That's yeah, let's, quite, let's that's use like these. A, Blues breakery type thing on Ooh. that side. Imagine just normal, non compressed overdrive. And then, you know, you, you dump your compressor in in front to get the extra sustain. Well, it is still doing what it says on the tin. Absolutely. Uh, sounds let's good. Feels try good. Uh, Brian's next setting, which is Brian. tons of comp. So that's got um, 
A little little bit more tone, a lot more attack, uh, less release, uh, way more blend. We're now like 100% of the signal and lots of compression as well. So without... (laughs) That's definitely... It's got it's the like, tone control, the tone on it. That's a good feature. You like that, dude. Yeah, because if you, if you turn that all the way up, it gets much brighter. I mean, like it should. But yeah. You know what I mean? I haven't seen that on any. Could you? On any, uh, could you play some like Corey Wongy sort of? Bit too much for me, but it's but very, very it's compressed, very compressed isn't it? But then that's what it says: tons of compression. That's what you, it's very uh, egotistical. Is egoistic. Tone it's sweetener, uh, which I know is you love these kind of pedals, don't you? Which is like it just makes it sound a yeah. bit better. A bit better. So this is actually not a dissimilar. Uh, this is not a dissimilar setting to the massive sustain, other than the release has been wound all the way down. Okay. Uh, so let's have a little listen. So, Back off, please. The switch is a bit hard, isn't it? It's, it's quite a hard it's switch. A, yeah. Sorry, I'm just I'm just testing relative testing uh, resistance. Uh, there is, oh, it's quite similar to the yeah. Lithos one, but maybe you just need to get your fellow club. Just need to get some it. quad muscles. <laughs> you know, stop being such a wussy. Did I say fellow Clumpford? I'm sorry about that. That's a it's nice a good, pedal. It's a good compressor. It's a nice pedal. It's interesting timing because the uh, Mark One or the original Cali 76 mm-hmm. Origin has just been discontinued. One assumes that any day now we will hear about a replacement for it, but the Origin stuff is typically more expensive than this. So they're Absolutely. normally around about the £300 for their version. This is closer to 200 yeah. So there you go. I mean, sounds great. Sounds, sounds good. good to me. I love the blend and I love the tone. That's something you don't so see that, on anything. So ladies and gents, is the Ego 76 compressor. Ego. Um, yes, Ego. What's next Benson. is now the Benson uh, Germanium preamp. Yeah. So we've seen this pedal before. This yeah. format of pedal is their Chimera preamp. Uh, the Great Chimera pedal. is an amp they make, mm-hmm. um, but this is now the germanium version. It's a different color as well. A Good very, color. very popular. The, all the Benson pedals are crazy popular. Yep. I've got uh, seven suggested settings here, so we might as well just get straight into this. But did you know, ladies and gentlemen, fun fact of the day, according to this little uh, brochure here, this leaflet, it says, beware, germanium stops passing music at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Brackets like a very hot stage. If you're of the European metric persuasion, that means around about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The real, yes. the real way of so, measuring stuff, right? Which doesn't sound desperately hot to me. I mean, 45 honestly, degrees. I mean, I could see that's that. like Dubai type yeah, but scenario. People gig in Dubai, don't they? Yeah, but they gig inside in, 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, in air conditioned rooms. You won't um, be outside in Dubai in the mid sun. You remember die. Like, all those Eric Johnson kind of um, myths about him taking the back off of his yeah, bus yeah, so face can, and everything yeah, to sort of circulate the air a bit more? But there we like, are. Like uh, Richard Hammond, but like they did in that sand job where they had to circulate there because it was so hot, so hot in the desert. Has it take the bonnet anyway? It's Did called sand job. I think that's the best name <laughs> for it. it. All right. Well, look. Let's hear what the ber- 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 <laughs> Benson sounds like in its overdrive mode. Wasn't this series Benson as well? I know they made hedges. The 
changing my suggested hedges. setting now. Oh, sorry. I, 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 so, I didn't. Sorry, I completely... You can turn yeah, the volume up if you no, want. I thought that was just a bit more volume. What was this one? Overdrive. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I've got the time of Lars Ulrich at the moment, so uh, I'm just trying to see if anybody can find out where I am. One in and seven. He's the best drummer does, in, uh, it, in the world, by the way. It does say that the difference between this Germanian version and the uh, regular <laughs> version is slightly lower gain, but richer sounding and feeling overdrive slash boost slash fuzz slash whatever we really, really dig. I think it sounds great, man. Yeah, it I think it needs a good. bit of volume, though. I think it's a I little think it bit... sounds super. Could yeah. we... Have we got time to sort of swip, swipity swap between a single coil yeah, guitar yeah, and, a, and a humbucker one? Of course we have. Wow. It goes to show how drivey the pickups in that Shabbat oh, are, doesn't it? Holy smokes! Yeah. That's nice tone though it's on the back tone. pickup. It's like. And so if you are looking at these here, I've just try. I'm just trying out. Just change the knobs. I'm just modding the knobs just to see what it looked like. I forgot to take them back off. Whilst we've got a little bit of overdrive on here and presumably now a little bit more background noise than we would normally have, many of you eagle eyed people will be going, What's the orange box over there? Oh, uh, well, this is a unbelievably useful possibly the single most useful tool that we have in the entire <laughs> studio it it, 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 i got emotional about it about how useful it was <laughs> um, 13 year old boy so we're we've actually decided because the riptide is a stereo out we're actually using two amplifiers here they're both set clean um but often when you have two amplifiers and a pedal board you get unwanted earth loopy hum noise things like that yep and if we, the Lela is a completely passive, isolated, um, high impedance splitter, splitter. slash uh, transformerless. I've transformers. made all that up. I don't Trans even know what it is. What I, Megan on Fox. screen now will be how they describe it <laughs> technically. But if you switch it, so what, what, what essentially is happening is one of the outputs from the Riptide is going straight to the amp. Mm. The other output is going into the Lela and then to the other amp. So we're just breaking that earth loop and we use that all single time. pedal because it doesn't need power no um it's super simple to use no. anyway we use that all the time as does john mayer and uh, tomo everybody uses these if you've got and also they do different sizes of the line little one now to the stereo one now do they yeah they're all on the links below right. you can buy them anyway you do you uh, back to our benson germanium preamp now we're going to listen to this uh on its clean boost Tell mode. Tell us on this guitar, sir. Sure. Wow. So here's without. It just sounds better. Lovely, like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, the next suggested setting says T Rex, which I'm guessing it's not trying to be like a T Rex I mean, what's brand song? of pedal. Oh, you think it's Mark Boland? Do yeah, you? what is that song? Uh, Bolan was obviously a Les Paul user, if I remember rightly, so let's hear it with some hum. Saw that bit came up Jim, on Instagram the other day. Super weird. It's got that high end Lee Fizzly type it's thing. It's compressing the pedal 
so much yeah. that the single coil one feels louder yeah. because it's not compressing this the pedal as much. Straight Interesting. Into yeah, yeah. Interesting. Let's try Biker. What, <laughs> who's that? Is this the uh, Ant and Deck Biker Grove uh, famous hey, what, setting? What, who was this me? needs to be Let's Get Ready to Rumble by uh, Ant and Deck from Biker Grove. If you're wondering where I'm getting all this, it's, these are what they're called on the suggested settings. <laughs> I want to put a bit like more it. volume in it. Do yeah. you? What's biker though? I'm you no know, people are gonna go, oh it's this, 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 and I just A bit more Did you want the compressor? I just want that. So, so it sort of keeps the sustain. I guess I've oh seen God, Roadhouse sounds... is coming back. I've never seen that either. Uh, <laughs> you man! Have you not seen Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze? <laughs> Roadhouse. Right, song, next one is saying Tony. I'm guessing we all think Tony oh. Iommi, or do we think is it Tony Hadley? It's prob <laughs> probably probably Tony Iommi, isn't it? What is that? What is that song? What is the <laughs> not Tony Hadley? What? Gold is that him? Gold, yeah, absolutely. Through the barricades, all the classics. But no, let's stick with Tony Iommi. What is that classic riff? I can never Sabbath, remember it. Uh, yeah. You know the. Something like that. Something like that. Oh, it's the downside going, Perfect. you're playing it wrong! <laughs> and all the comment as sections, well the comment sections are all going, here. you're playing it all wrong! Right. Like so they went, they um, played this one. We played that wrong too, all of us played it wrong, right. according to everybody that Next. can play everything better than us out there. Fuzz. We're going fuzz, which is <laughs> all the knobs on maximum except for volume. Here we Common go. Common sex in Fuzzy jury. bear. Have you ever watched that either? I haven't seen that either, <laughs> no. Um, some people are out there going, does Lee even own a television? Right, last setting, I'm just conscious we've got lots more to get on with here. Texas. Obviously, I'm guessing this is more Stevie Ray than Charla Charlene Spiteri. <laughs> so Charlene um, Spiteri? Charlene Saron, man. No, Charlene They're Spiteri, on. that was her band. Wasn't I don't it? care Texas. about that. Okay. Yeah, she was nice too, wasn't she, Texas? It's a good band. Time. I can't remember what it is, but... <laughs> but that's the song, isn't it? It was probably better than that, but... Probably better with a strat. <laughs> See, I think that's better. Anyway, that sounds great, great, wow. great, 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 whoever gets that, 
Mark I'm one of those. bang into that. Boom. That is a very versatile Boom. sounding Boom. drive pedal for Boom. some classic Boom. ranges of tone. <laughs> Boom. Now, next, this looks complicated. Uh, oh, yeah. The Dinosaural Cogmeister is a trio of compatible booster effects designed for the electric guitar. Yeah, cog, I don't know as, if in, I need as, to... in the, as in a cock wheel. So, Dan Coggins, you, uh, if you're not familiar with the name, you might be familiar with the pedal brand that he designed all the circuits for back in the 90s called the Love Tone range. Mm. Uh, but anyway, so there's a whole ton of stuff you can read about the dinosaur if you want but i'm going He's straight tone, tone to the oh wow this is the truth table for the dinosaur <laughs> love, love hogmeister that. pedal functions uh is that right typed on a, on a on a on a typewriter it looks it like looks it like is. it so we're going from right to left in terms of signal flow so we've got a push section a drive section and a solo section oh i see this looks probably simpler than we all think it is it's, here. It's much simpler. So, right, everything off is full true bypassed. Uh, this is just pure boost. Let's just go through it one at a time. Okay, without? Yeah. I tell you, it's got a lot in there. Holy yeah. Here's the clean. Lows, familiar. Oof. Which is, you know. There's a bucket load of, this is boost, so any gain you're hearing yeah. now is just the amps driving, but it goes a bit nuts here. Oh man, that sounds oh. good. guess actually we probably I probably should have started with the middle section because my gut feeling is what you're really talking about here is a drive section in the middle yeah. that you can then either push to go more driven Intimate. but yeah. maybe not necessarily more volume or over here just add more volume it's the ultimate drive pedal it kind of is because isn't you it? got the f boost in front and the boost after why is it called a dinosaural what does that even mean what does dinosaural mean dinosaur means a fossil reptile of the Mesozoic era in many species. It must mean something. Let's just see. I think he's just made that up. No. It's a it's dinosaur and oral, isn't it? Or aural, as we try to say when we're uh, not getting confused between oral. another type of... <laughs> oh! Distortion or drive. That's fat, man. It is fat. The, just nine volt is it? Yep. It feels like we're producing like fat ten thousand decibels of decibels. I decibels. can't even speak. Um, <laughs> That's well, when like, they really weigh, the weight lifters have yeah. got a decibel. Without on. winding the volume up too much, let's just see what the gain range. <laughs> it's got that low end. It's a very different type of it's a game. Saturated, yeah, much it's more a saturated. Distortion. That's it's a the distortion word. thing. So we've got Can some it... EQ positions here uh -huh. of uh, a little bit of mid range uh -huh. taken out, flat, or a lot of mid range taken out. So you were listening to it on the flat mode. Here's with a little bit of mid range. <laughs> Up. 
I mean, I'm guessing these little lines here are supposed to indicate where the frequency is being pulled out. Yeah, so, so actually that bottom one, yeah, is more lower, lower mid range, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, 200, like, isn't it? I quite like it flat, but right. maybe, maybe this bottom one is tube screamery. If you take, yeah, turn it gain. It's a nice drive as well. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Holy man. moly! By the way, these are new now. They're new to Anderson, so and I think we're exclusive with them as well. So. New and exclusive. Ooh. New and exclusive. New. I think I, I like think this a lot. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? That sounds so good. Yeah, we'll Holy try the uh, mother of Mary. I mean, let's go to this one here, and then we can, then we can try the. Well, this is just a straightforward volume boost. Yeah, isn't but, it? It's, but still, because it's different from this, isn't it? I think one side is more like it's a, uh, it's a what's it called? Um, it does say if I was, I'm being lazy here and not reading this. It, it does say it, what eats are. Yeah, it essentially is the push section. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I struggled with that. Push the push section. section. <laughs> is a late 1960s style single transistor treble booster. Boost. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's the drive it section is a refinement of an earlier dinosaurial design with okay. a modified EQ uh -huh. curve. And the solo, the section solo section says here it's a clean, flat signal boost, however, with increasing distortion as the peak control is advanced. I like peaking. Just an etching as well. Sounds good. good. My gosh. Wow, the only thing I think you're going to have to have for this amplifier to get the most out of this pedal are yeah. some high headroom amplifiers. Yeah. This feels like this is this is perfect for someone with a, you know, like a 100 watt cleaner or something like that. We better make one of those. Uh, holy <laughs> moly. Well, yeah, let's just let's see what it does on the I know you prefer in the in the middle flat one, but yeah. I, it's it's too nicely for me. I like It's a good sound, man. Yeah, it is. Three channel guitar amplifier and a pedal there. That's all you need, isn't it? And lots of cocks oh, in my head. Hurts. In there. Anyway, okay, I like that oh, very, that's very much. Very Congratulations cool. to Dan uh, yeah. on a very, very cool pedal. Mm -hmm. um, okay, moving on now to a pedal from the lovely Zach Broyles mm, at Mythos. Love Zach. Uh, he's tremendous, uh, handsome, handsome man. Yeah, looks Great good in glasses. Player. Uh, immaculately trimmed beard. Yeah, lovely family. Um, and uh, extremely good at designing pedals. Yeah. So the Herculean Deluxe mm -hmm. uh, is a sort of two-in-one uh, pedal. 
So we have uh, the Herculean side of things oh, is the side. sort of this D style amp overdrive vibe. The D. And the other side is a, a, a drive circuit from his runestone pedal, which is sort yeah. of blues breakery. Uh, you can elect to change the order of the effects if you mm -hmm. want to here. Uh, there are some dip switches inside that allow you to change the uh, clipping style of each side of the pedal. We're not going to mess around with those. No. We'll leave them on the default. Uh, and we are going to show you what they sound like on the select on the suggested settings i've been using this in some videos recently and it sounds epic oh i see they've got settings talk to robin and caught in the crossfire but that but that will be we'll have to go and and do the dip oh. switches can we get a screwdriver please so how do they come preset crikey o'reilly they're small one two and four in the downwards position number three on so number three upwards for the robin ford setting okay assuming they mean robin ford yeah and then it's got i assume it's got the switch going this way it's mm -hmm. obviously got both sides on talk to your daughter don't make talk me play that solo i played oh, that man. for my exam um did you entry. i think you've said that before yeah. i know this is going to sound good <laughs> Dumble hunk, low end talk, sort talk of. Talk to your daughter. Time was that Fender Elite that he had, yeah, wasn't it? it? Was, which yeah. was two humbuckers on a, on a sort of a, almost like a PRS -y vibe, wasn't it? It's got that sound. That very bell-like sound when you play with a finger. It's that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, it sounds great. That sounds great, man. Um, should we do caught in the crossfire? Yeah. Uh, which means have we need uh, single chords for that, then, you know? One and three off and two and four on. So what is this caught in the crossfire? This is caught in the crossfire. What is that? How, what is that? How does that go? That's the uh, Stevie Ray song, isn't it? Caught in the crossfire. Pass. We need to get Riss in to play that. Yes. <laughs> I don't care if I can't remember Court and Crossfire, but it sounds great. Man. What is that song? Does it need like a position two or a position Siri, four sound? Play Court and the Crossfire by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Second position. I mean, imagine a strap, but yeah. it is that song. I mean, that sounds great. It's a great man. sound. What a good pedal. Um, look, I mean, let's just. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe there aren't any other suggested settings, so I guess we'll just hear each side in isolation and just sort of what does it sound like? Uh, here we are. Isolation. Wow. Sounds so good, man. Oh, 
that's that's interesting. That's it. It's got that boom boom boom. Have you can we set it back to the original settings inside? Just like, was that one and that it was one. yeah like that. Okay. <laughs> So that voice switch is interesting. That's an excellent pedal. So that's the Herculean. 299. Everything is 299 uh, these days, aren't they? Absolutely. It's just it's the new 149. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell us about the Riptide then, Mr. Pete. Well, I don't know much about this. I mean, the Riptide is, uh, you know, you remember when we did the H90? Yes. And it had an overdrive in it. Yes. And it was like, wow, I didn't know that it's overdrive. Is that a digital overdrive? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it was, I don't really know what it is, but it was in the, in, in the H90. Mm. And it was really good. So this is basically that this it's that overdrive, and then it's their uh, Univibe section as well from from there. I can't remember exactly what it is, but you know it's a Univibe section and a stereo, and you can have five presets on here. So as well. it must be sort and of digital E then, isn't it? Because yeah, it's, it's got USB. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's all in that little folder ooh. there where it says what it is. Oh, I yeah, just can't yeah, remember. Yeah. Remember with Patrick, a great sticker Patrick, and a plectrum. Patrick told me on at Nam, and but I just thought it sounded so good. I didn't really care what it was. You know what I mean? If it sounds good, why not just like it? No, I I, I do absolutely remember on the H90. Yeah, and it was like because H90 is kind of sold as the you just have normal overdrive pedals with it, wouldn't yeah. you, and then use it for its effects. Yeah, and that, but it had overdrive in it, yeah. and I was going, oh, it like, sounds really good. Sounds, so, and actually, it is really good. Yeah, okay. it is really good. But, um, but bizarre combination. I can't think of any other pedal that's a drive, drive, no, and a vibe. Exactly, in one. and Very you can cool. change the um, so you can have here's the drive section. You got you know you can hold down your switches, and then you can swap through your five uh, presets. Oh. Which you can save in there as well. So, but if you just go preset one, it'll just—it's just basically. Oh, hang on. So now we're in preset. Sorry. Let's go on manual. There we go. Manual mode. So now it's just manual, or you can have five presets, which is really cool. And it's got noise gate. We so it must be digital this. Yeah. Two, oh, I two, see. Yeah, two sections. That's right? your drive side. That's your univibe. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You, can, you can obviously again decide whether you want drive first or vibe first. So that's the drive. So you got yep. tone. From Eventide, you wouldn't think that this no, guy's absolutely. driver sounds so good. I really enjoy that. Drive you ever been section. caught in a riptide before? Load sounds oh, good. Absolutely. I woke up on a beach many times like that. Once with a <laughs> in my neck. I was attached to a. <laughs> no, no, there was. A <laughs> she might have. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Uh, let's go vibe. <laughs> the vibe section is much more conventional. Just. Uh... And we've got this in stereo now, right? Yeah, you should have. Yeah. Speed and intensity and vibe. Clean and transparent, isn't it? Thank you. 
Great, I assume the expression pedal on the back allows you to adjust the speed of the mm -hmm. vibe and stuff like that. Yeah. So let's try I these. Like uh, let's try these some presets. presets are you? So hang on. So that's on. It's a great pedal, man. Great pedal. I, I, yeah. I, How much I is the... Really, uh, I was... I don't know. What, two, six, oh. nine, something? How much? Three, two, nine. Three, two, three, nine. nine. So oh, it's a lot of money. Yeah. But it's, it is an eventide, man. You know. Yeah. I think it's great that they're venturing into... Uh, your, I've always loved an eventide pedal, me. You know, I think they could do some great stuff. And it's I great like to it. see that... It's very jimmy, isn't it? It's, I'm so, sort of surprised there aren't more Drive and, and Univibe pedals together. But it's Oh, who did that? Uh, um, 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 Keel did the, the one with the fuzz and the... They did the, the fuzz the, and the vibe in yeah. it, didn't they? But that was more Pink Floydy, wasn't it? That was like, it's like a dark side no, that of the was, moon. No, there was Jimmy on it. No, they did the fuzz. Oh, the they Monterey. Did the, the no, other one right. is in the kitchen here. The, they did the dark side. You're totally And the right. Monterey the was Monterey. the one there. No, you're right. But this is all... That's probably a bit more dark side, this one, isn't it? Well, how much? I don't know. I, I like it. I like it. I, I think we should end, Mr. Pete. This end. is it's a long, long video, video, this one, isn't I it? I need to go and have a lie down. Absolutely. Uh, there you are. Thanks for staying to the end. If you did, links are below to all these pedals. They should all be in stock at Anderton's. Um, with worldwide shipping, don't you know? Worldwide shipping? Yes. Right. Uh, that's it. We're out of here. See you tomorrow. Au revoir. Goodbye.